Hi, my name is Dr. Suzanne Kim, and today I'm going to show you how we do IPT. IPT stands for Insulin Potentiation Therapy, and or we call it low-dose chemotherapy. So the way that this works, and you can see that we have it set up, is that uh, uh, the patient comes in fasting, and um, we're going to we administered a very small dose of insulin to drop the sh uh, patient's, patient's blood sugar down to between about 40 and 50. And the reason we do that is because, as the name IPT suggests, we're using insulin to help guide or direct the chemotherapeutic agents to the cancer cells preferentially. And the reason that we can do that is because cancer cells have more insulin receptors than normal cells. Uh, because cancer cells require much more energy, uh, they, uh, they do, uh, or they're able to obtain that by having these uh, additional insulin receptors. So since when we administer the insulin, it opens up the channels, and uh, then we're able to administer the chemotherapeutic agents, which will be taken up preferentially by the cancer cells. The advantage of this is that we're able to give lower dosages of the chemo agents. Um, dosages usually that we use are between 10 and 20 percent and because we're using the lower dosages uh, we're going to have less collateral damage and side effects to the normal cells. But this is what generally occurs when we're using higher doses uh, in conventional um, chemotherapy. So what we're doing right now is that we are administering some um, actually pre-meds that we give before we actually give the chemotherapeutic agents. These are a variety of different nutraceuticals uh, that help to uh, facilitate the uptake of the chemotherapeutic agents. And then we go ahead and administer the chemotherapeutic agents as um, an IV push. As soon as we're finished, we're going to go ahead and uh, bring the sugar back up by uh, having the patient eat. And usually patients bring um, either some grapes or a banana and that will bring the sugar up nicely. We can also administer some dextrose if needed also to bring the sugar back up to normal. Patients tolerate this therapy quite well and we're able to minimize, uh, as I mentioned, a lot of the side effects uh, associated with chemotherapy uh, these side effects can include um, neuropathy, gastrointestinal side effects like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, uh, hair loss, uh, effects to the bone marrow with decreased blood counts. So all of these can be mitigated by doing uh, this low-dose uh, chemotherapy. And so patients uh, generally... Uh, tolerate it very well and have um, really minimal side effects. I would say probably fatigue may be the number one side effect and usually that's just on the day of chemotherapy or for or the next day. Very helpful for, because many patients have a hard time uh, tolerating the uh, chemotherapy. In addition, because of the effects, uh, many times Patients will have to stop their chemotherapy because it does uh, cause problems with the, uh, the immune system. And we definitely want to support the immune system during this time. Usually the process is very quick. It usually takes just about 30 minutes or so for the actual um, IPT when we hit the um, blood sugar. Um, and we usually have the sugar between 40 and 50, we want to reach that mark around 30 minutes. Uh, so the whole process is fairly quick. If you're interested in learning more about IPT, you can call the Cancer Center for Healing or you can look us up on our website. Thank you.